Hey Max Spirit Halloween just uploaded a new sneak peek, you should check it out. Oh, okay. Thanks, Alexa. You know, I forgive you for the whole HTJ thing. I do. I just gotta let it go, you know? So, uh, what do you think about the new sneak peek? Hmm? Do you get the joke? Because he looks like a Muppet? For all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former, and without a flash of just getting home from my vacation, Spirit Halloween has released yet another spooktacular sneak peek. And today's sneak peek is actually pretty sweet, I do have to say. There's a few complaints, and I'll get to those in a second, but today we are talking about the Nightmare Harvester. So this prop is along the lines of what appears to be some sort of a farm, barn, pumpkin patchy type theme that Spirit seems to be doing this year. And I really dig it. I really think that this prop, uh, besides its flaws, is very interesting. I love the large stature of the character and the large, large head. And I also love the feet, you know, how they look kind of like tree roots. Very, very cool. A uh, very interesting kind of plant life type of monster, but I think he's really cool in an interesting way. A lot of people have been complaining about the voice, and while I mean it's a little off from what I would think the character would sound like, he has a kind of Groot sort of sound to him, and I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. I also love that the eyes are really small with a big head. Makes him more menacing, and I like the cloak over his head too. He does, you know, as my intro kind of suggests, he kind of looks like a Muppet. And, and people had that, you know, kind of flaw, I guess you could say, with um, Towering Chain Ghosts. That they kind of look like a puppet, like a Muppet. And I guess, you know, it's kind of up to your personal taste. Uh, personally, I know he's a little bit more on the uh, titching, expensive side. So I'm not positive if I'm going to be getting him myself. But I can see a lot of people picking him up in stores because... He is like a towering prop on steroids, kind of. He is like a towering prop with all these other features that I think will make him very uh, appealing to a lot of people. Personally, I'm not sure what theme I would fit him in for a, a future haunted house of mine. Obviously, he won't fit for my themes this year, but we'll see, you know, how he kind of fits in in years to come. I do think he's a really nice prop though, and it's kind of down to your opinion whether you pick him up or not. I can see some people going for this right away and some people passing, and I can understand both lines of logic. But one thing's for certain, it's going to be really cool to see him at Spirit Halloween. Thank you for watching this sneak peek video. I'll see you in another one, hopefully soon. And remember as always, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.